In this video, I'm gonna show you how to separate all of your audio sources in OBS without having something like the Wave software from Elgato, Beacon software from Beacon, GoXLR, Unify software from Rode, uh, whatever the case, all of them, you don't have to have them, Voice Meter, Steel Series. We're using what's included inside OBS to do something that's very unique and very awesome. So. Let's get into it. To start, we need to make sure we're on the latest version of OBS or at least at 30.1. And you can see that when you open OBS at the very top, you can also click help and check for updates to make sure you're at your latest version. If you have it installed through Steam, make sure you check it through Steam. If you have it installed locally, you can click check for updates here. But the application audio capture piece that we're working with today is I believe as early as 30.1. So make sure you're up to date. Number two, we're actually gonna set this up one piece at a time. And what we're gonna do is actually just disable all of our audio settings within OBS. So we're gonna to go to settings, audio, and disconnect, actually disable everything that is in the audio tab, allowing our audio mixer on the right to be completely free. Now this might seem scary, but we're actually going to make a brand new scene and put all of our audio sources in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a brand new scene in OBS and we're gonna call this audio. And we're actually gonna use this as something called a nested scene and paste the scene as a source in all of our other scenes. It'll make sense in just just a moment. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and put all of our audios in and separate everything out. Number one, we're actually gonna add our microphone back in from an audio input capture. So I'm just gonna name this mic. I'm gonna click OK and mine is the Streamer X because I'm using the Rode Streamer X right now. I'm gonna click OK. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually add, let's do Discord. So application audio capture. I'm gonna name this a Discord and this is how we're gonna separate out our voice chat. And we're gonna go ahead and select from here, discord.exe. Now you do need to have these platforms and these programs open so that they will capture. So just as an FYI. So I have Discord open on another monitor. I'll click okay. And you can see nothing's happening. Actually, uh, anti-social life. I don't have anyone at a Discord party with me, but uh, I am gonna play a soundboard piece from over there. I just played bruh and you can see that that actually played through the chat right here. I'll do it one more time. But the benefit is now, if everyone's talking in your party from over here, you can now control what your chat hears without adjusting what you hear. You could still hear it full volume in your headset or whatever the case, but for your chat, you can adjust how loud or soft they are for stream. So I can actually hit this and you'll see it actually has pulled it down to around negative 30 dB. Now we can do this for any application. Like for example, I do have a uh, Chrome open. So I could do again, application audio capture. We could say Chrome, click okay drop down box and you can see there's chrome.exe destiny item manager i've also got my true nas pulled up on my local ip address no you're not going to dox me for my local ip address guys <laughs> yeah that's uh, you'll dox yourself if you try to do that anyway so you can see you can just select it and it'll pop up as chrome and anything that i would normally play in chrome let me just open up a new tab open up my website i'll just go ahead and play one of my youtube videos right here let me go back to this and you can see right here my video is coming through the chrome tab and not through anywhere else. It's separated out and I get individual audio control for this, which is so cool. Let's say you want to go ahead and add your game sounds. It's going to be the same concept as before, but you have another option. You could just add the audio capture, open the window and then change it each time. Or you can actually do window capture or game capture. So if I click window capture, for example, destiny two does not support game capture. I can change capture method to windows 10. You can see it pop up, but I have this capture audio beta, just like I did from one of the sources. And if I click this, you'll see that it adds it over here to the side, also separating out the sound from this, making it a beautiful opportunity to make it where you can just change the window to the other game. So if I click OK, you can see Window Capture, which is my game. I'll rename it really quick. You see I've changed it to Game, and basically it's set up. All I have to do is just change what game I'm playing within this source, and it works just fine. Now, this also works on Game Capture, and I'll show you that. If you click Game Capture, you also have Capture Audio Beta, but like I said, for a game like Destiny, 2 that doesn't support it. I'll click window and destiny 2. They even have it here saying destiny 2 cannot be captured by game capture. Uh, you need to use window or display. So this is an option. Uh, if you have a game that is supported, you can actually tag capture audio beta and separate it out the same as before. The issue that you have here is uh, not all games support this. So you need to make sure that if it doesn't work in game capture, you should try it in window capture. If you're a person that loves display capture, you're kind of out of luck. You need to actually use the actual source the application audio capture to be able to separate it out because display capture does not have this option. For obvious reasons, as you see, there isn't an option here for display capture. Now that you have all of your audio separated out here, I've pulled the game capture, by the way, because that'll most likely be on your live scene 
and not everywhere. Uh, what we'll do is we actually can go into another scene, which we'll just go to this one here, and we can actually add from the source list a scene. This is what the nested scene is. So when I click scene, I can choose that. We'll choose audio. And when I pop this in, everything that was inside the other scene that we created, which is audio, will be brought into this scene. If you had visuals, it would pl be placed here as well. But in this case, we just used audio sources. So this can now be just pasted and used in all of your sources. And you get all the granular adjustment across every single scene that you would like this in. So let's say this was my live source finally. Uh, I would go in here and actually add the window capture. I would choose Destiny 2, Windows 10, click OK. And now I have everything separated out like I did before. Uh, I'm just using this on my live scene now, which would have the game. You, you get what I'm talking about. So the reason we did it this way is because inside our settings here, you only get four microphones and two desktop audios, and you only get to select the sources from your computer, not individual windows. So that's why we've put it into a scene that we can nest everywhere else. Now, I hope that made a whole lot of sense, but before we just end this video, I wanna ask you a question and get your opinion. What do you think of this camera? This is the Facecam Pro from Elgato, and that's what I used during this tutorial. I have it set up in vertical format. It's not cropped or anything. It's just literally turned. I'll show you some B-roll of how it looks. And uh, what do you think about it? Again, this is the Elgato Facecam Pro, and the main camera is the Sony FX30 with the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. Do you like this camera? This isn't like any color adjusting, no color grading or anything. I've just locked the exposure so it wouldn't move around for camera and for recording stuff. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Really appreciate you guys. Looking forward to seeing what you think about this tutorial, the camera. What do you think about the microphone? This is the Fifine AM8. We're testing it once again for a video. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments. Check one of these two videos out, especially this one. I'm pretty sure you're going to find some really awesome tips for your next stream. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a great day.